Hola, ¿qué tal chicos? Soy Álvaro Reyes y quiero daros la bienvenida a mi canal. Hoy, para mí, además, es un vídeo súper, súper especial porque estoy con dos grandes expertos en el área de la seducción y de las habilidades sociales. Hoy, por un lado, nos encontramos con Bexter, otra vez aquí en mi canal. Nice to have you in my Hola, channel. Hola, Bexter. Good to be here. Y la estrella, la leyenda, el gran artista de la seducción, Mystery, Eric von Markovic. How are you doing, man? Nice to have you in my channel. Hemos coincidido, él y yo en México, hemos coincidido ya en Barcelona, hemos hecho ya talleres juntos, pero faltaba algo súper importante para el canal, que era tener la entrevista. Bexter, como ya sabéis, es una persona que lleva 20 años en la seducción, él empezó en, en Londres y es gran amigo de Tyler, es gran amigo de Mystery y ha recorrido el mundo enseñando seducción y a Mystery seguro que le recordáis por libros como el del método de Neil Strauss, donde aparece, además de que él ha escrito también otros libros y es el pionero en el tema de las habilidades sociales y la seducción. Así que hoy, aprovechando esta entrevista, quiero que vosotros podáis conocer más ¿Cuáles son los secretos que se esconden en su mente para poder comunicarse tan bien con las mujeres y tener tantos grandes resultados? So, Mystery? So, can you translate all that for me? It's... Yeah. So, the first question uh, to Mystery is how you get started in this business? I was lonely and I was in Toronto and I was freezing my ass off and so I would find myself going downtown with two dollars borrowed from my mother in order to go to a club and get rejected and then come home. I have over a hundred times under my belt where I've gone out to a club, not gotten in, not interacted with anyone, yeah. and then ended up coming home. That's my history. That's how it begins though. That's how it begins. When I started out, for example, There was nothing, like I didn't even have the internet to use. So I had old like notes of people had taken and printouts that people have printed out from magazines that they'd sent off for to people. And uh, I just took the principles and practice, practice, practice. And as like Mystery said, you fail so much and you get rejected so much. And after a while, like there's little light bulb moments that you're like, ah, oh, now I can do that. Now I can gain attraction. Now I can merge sets and so on and so on. Until you've got all these platforms of evidence in your previous life where you're so confident now and it starts to work and you become congruent with what you're doing. So you, two legends in the pickup world, you've been rejected? Uh, really? Uh, everyone no. in the world. Everyone in the world. Hey, escucháis, han sido también rechazados. No pasa absolutamente nada por tomar acción. Hay veces que va a salir bien y hay veces que va a salir mal. Pero lo importante es continuar tomando acción. You have to take action for getting the result. The Massive result you want. Massive results. Yeah. Small That's action, cool. small results. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after five or six times, you think you'd give up, but I had no other option. How can you give up? You just keep going until life changes. Yeah. Right. So that's what I did. I just kept going. Yeah, we have different characters, and we have to play with that. You know. Right. So different characters, cool. different identities, different avatars. You know, every day you can dress differently. The, the, all this bullshit talk about peacocking as if it's, you know, not happening around you already. It's happening everywhere. You know? Pick it's up like a magazine. Anytime that you see a tattoo, that's peacocking. And then there are, the, you know, the plebes that think, I could never get a tattoo, I, I'll never get a job. Well... Nobody gives a shit about your tattoos. Get back to work. <laughs> you know, it's just small-minded thinking. So yeah, you can dress outrageously at night. Paint your nails black. Oh, I could never do that. Well, it comes off. I don't know if you know that. It comes off. You can actually remove the, the paint uh, on, on, you know, for your Monday morning. You could get a girl to remove the paint. Yeah, that's, that's how I get the paint <laughs> on in the first thing. place. You, you actually bring the paint with you in field, the, the nail polish. And it becomes a prop in your pocket, a useful okay. prop, so that when you do open a set, you get into lock-in, then you merge into backwards merge into a previously open set, and you sit down with everybody, and then you choose one of the hottest girls there to paint your nails. There you are, surrounded by people having your nails painted, right? <laughs> and it's an odd, memorable look, right? From a distance, 
Isn't it? Any adjacent set that sees that, well, that, how do you think the girls wiggle their asses in my face? Uh, they don't do that. <laughs> they don't do that normally, you know? A girl won't select you and start, uh, you know, bouncing to the music and uh, getting close to your to your table yeah. by backwards. putting her <laughs> backwards by putting her butt basically in your face and uh, as she's dancing near you, you're like, why did she choose of all the places in this whole yeah. club? <laughs> she's chosen to to dance right in front of my fucking table right there, you know. Uh, do you, do you, when you're yeah. getting your nails done, a good sound bite. It looks, shout out. it looks cool. But you said, anyone got any grapes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's pretty much what that that look is like. Yeah, that's if what I mean. Get, that's what I picture. If you get someone to feed you grapes in a nightclub environment, <laughs> should we do Women that? from a distance will see that, and you will be pre-selected. And pre-selection is eighty percent of attraction. And in fact, the other twenty percent is qualifying. The very act of qualifying is a high-valued male behavior. That's attractive. So you don't have to have 100% attraction. You don't have to know for sure that she's into you. The very fact that she's just spoken to you for a few minutes no. is some compelling evidence to support that that's an IOI. That's an indicator of interest. She's interested enough to ch chat with me. You know, Otherwise, she'd be not chatting with me. It's very easy for people to not do that. You know, Like when I wear my peacocking gear and I have my fuzzy hat on, that fuzzy hat works, you know, it's a charm, it works, it allows a girl to come up and say, I hate your hat, and I could say, no, you don't, you're attracted to me, And because you don't walk moment, up to the somebody, game start. and the game has started, exactly, yeah. so I'm making it easy for a girl to initiate a conversation with me by wearing the damn fuzzy hat, I know it's stupid, I'm not an idiot, it's very comfortable, great on an airplane, you can cover your eyes and sleep with that thing, and also, you can take it off and put it on the girl's head. You're the girl in this case, sir. <laughs> Put it on the girl prop. You can also use a scarf. Ooh, I would never wear that color scarf. Get out of your head and get back in the game. Peacocking is around. It's not going away. It's a tool for an artist. And it allows a girl to initiate a conversation with you, or at least make it easy for that ha to happen. There's 101 things you can do with a scarf. Yeah. I in saw field. it. I saw it in Barcelona. Yeah. I saw it in Sara in Madrid. You were playing with the scarf, and you play with all the objects. Uh, yeah. So that's cool. Yep, the, nice the, the glasses, everything. Glasses on, glasses off. Yeah, I of get course. to do that routine. I get to vanish the glasses. I get to put the glasses on other people, lock them in while I turn and roll off. Right? Glasses and I, on, off. Yeah. On, off. Yeah. Off. Well, okay. they flip one. And then, yeah. <laughs> off. Oh, fair enough. And then you leave them on. Or vice versa. You prefer yeah. them on. Fair so enough. So what I like on. to do as well in a club, you hand one girl one piece of scarf. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Move Try backwards. that again. Mm -hmm. So you hand girl one piece of scarf. So you are giving options to girl for starting the conversation with you and make easy the process. And that's why it's called a charm. Yeah. If you wear one interesting item, see the the idea here isn't some magical charm. Although that this is a magician stone in this case. This is magician stone, labradorite, labradorite. Uh, but if a girl touches it, I can kiss her. Yeah. Everyone seems to yeah. think that pickup is me meeting one girl. Of course, it's not. never that. It's never that. Whenever that does occur, it's you meeting one girl. It's you soon meeting her friends. It's you soon having to disarm all the obstacles. It's you soon having to backwards merge her into a previously open set, maybe even the friends you came with. Right? So it's always group theory, especially when they're beautiful. They're very rarely alone. It, what's weird is to pick up a girl by herself and then never meet her friends. And then you have sex with her, and now what? And now she's never met your friends either. How, how to it's play just, with the friends and the male friends? Uh, guys are just ugly girls. Yeah. So you can work groups with guys in them. Uh, that's group theory. That is normal. It is not normal to just wait around for the girl by herself. That's all. And if she is by herself, it's not normal to try to keep her away from her friends. It's not normal to try to keep her away from your friends. Everyone keeps trying to isolate the girl immediately and start hitting on them. Yeah. They're opening in seduction, right? Now, I don't mind the idea of conveying that you're a sexual being. You know, I will drop I know. that I'm a sexual being, but I'm not trying to arouse her in the now, especially not in the first three minutes, you know? That's what indirect's about, I guess. 
I do convey sexuality. I have. You know. I think w- what what you're saying is that people are just going all in straight away and giving all their cards up. These are this is all my cards. They're trying. Where they're trying to win the game of chess and and meet the queen with a pawn on the open. Yeah. 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 So that's not how it's done in chess. It's eighteen to twenty five moves to play a good game of chess. I'm going to say it's roughly the same for pickup. Yeah, and some games of, go on for a, hours and hours, and some go on for a couple of minutes. And yeah. also, the best way for winning the game is letting the girl chase you. Yep. So yep, don't exactly. chase the girl, let the girl chase you. Exactly. <laughs> what other questions have uh, come up from, uh, from your friends? Uh, three tips for the people who want to start on the seduction. Three tips for people who want to get good at the game? Yeah, of course. Who want to start in, in seduction? Well, it's opening straight away. You just got to open everything. Abide by the three-second rule. If you see the set, open the set. Even if you don't know how to open the set, go in anyway, find out what not to do. Then the pathway of what you should have done will reveal itself if you do a dozen failures in a night. Yeah. It'll reveal itself for the next day, and you'll be that much better for the next day. But if guys don't get into the habit of training of actually opening sets you know otherwise they they become excuse masters their excuse muscles start to build <laughs> right uh that's one so three second rule experimentation yeah. notice that each set is an experiment mm. it's a social experiment i oftentimes will open a set in a way that almost damn near destroys it where I just go in with instant rapport and I just talk shit. I just, you know, like I, as if I'm having a conversation here and then over the shoulder I have a conversation continue. <laughs> I just yeah. do that and they accept that reality. But I'm saying stuff that isn't being proper and nice, mm-hmm. you know? I'm just shooting the shit as if there's nothing I need from them. Mm-hmm. But that gets conveyed, yeah. right? So it seems to stick. But they're all social experiments to me, nonetheless. Because I don't know how they're going to react, especially to a new piece of material. If I'm running a new piece of material, I don't know the reaction. And I'm not worried about the reaction. Because it's a new piece of material. The very fact that I'm running it is practice. Yeah, I think so get into practice. Don't be so sensitive about, I must say this one opener or this one routine, perfect the first time. And if I don't get the goal, I'm never going to use that again. And it doesn't work. Right. It's very... That's rubbish. That's very black and white. <laughs> yeah. Right? Many shades of gray. And it, there's many shades of gray. Uh, another thing, you know, if I can give you the best advice in the shortest amount of time, is recognize three main points. You ready for this? These are the three main points. Structure. Material delivery there is structure to pick up from meat to sex courtship has a beginning middle and ending and each of those stages has a beginning middle and ending so you can then know there's a structure to pick up if you know it then you could meet the objectives of each of the phases using the next one material get your material up to speed we literally have hundreds upon hundreds of sound bites and stories, openers, and and qualifiers, qualifiers and DHV (laughs) stories, lots of different types of text files in the head. And I'd say you need a good 300 text files in your head in order to play a nice robust system, to have a nice robust system of pickup in your head to handle a myriad of uh, approach scenarios. And the third is delivery. I mean, a lot of people, they'll complain that they're naturals, they don't need structure, They'll complain that they don't need material, right? Mm -hmm. And they don't practice material. And so when they finally go out there, they're left with nice shoes, (laughs) right? I like your shoes because it's in the now. And she can say, thanks, my boyfriend bought them for me and you're blown out, right? (laughs) And then you're like, oh, well, she was a bitch. Literally, this is the type of cycle that I've seen, right? Uh, If you know there's structure to pick up, and you can meet the objectives of the phases with material, and you have your delivery down, you've, you've worked that material a dozen times on randoms, yeah. so that when the woman of particular quality comes along, you'll get the girl, yeah. right? And so what binds all three of these together is experience. That's the fourth thing, really, is you need experience. You need to go in field and, go and fail. Yeah. 
you know, be brave enough to fail. And guess what? What, what is failure? Failure is they didn't hear you. Big fucking deal. Don't take it personally. You weren't loud enough. Oh, well, it's too loud in those clubs, so I don't go. Good. You don't go. There's a lot of people there anyway. I won't miss you. Okay, we are talking about experience. Mm. Can you tell us something about the, the boot camp are you going to give in Barcelona where the students can get the experience for It, doing that? A boot camp really is all about experience. Our seminar is a little bit shorter and our, and our in-field is a little bit longer now. That's yeah, which done. is more because we find that you learn quickest in-field, so we're giving more in-field. Yeah, and we've refined our teaching to be able to convey a concise structure And then to meet the objective of each phase, we give specific components of material that fit into those objectives, uh, right? That, yeah. that meet those objectives, rather. And then we go in field. And we use that material in order as waypoints to hit along the timeline for meet to sex with the girl. And then we just flood them with experience. Yeah. That's the best thing to do, whether it's day game, whether it's night game. It's both. There's no difference to me, really, you know? Yeah. It's a little slower. I mean, there's some subtlety. There are subtleties, <laughs> yeah, <I> right? <laughs> But it's the, it's the game. It's the same game. Whether it's day or night, you're still going to open the set. Yeah, of course. Right? Don't let the sun shy you away from opening sets. It's not about her. Six weeks from now, Woman of Beauty is coming along. Do you have the skill set to get her? We're talking six weeks from now. If you don't approach this set, you won't have the skill. You have to blow this up because you want to make sure that the set that works, yeah. this doesn't happen. So do all the failures early, flood yourself with failure, and then the success will follow, right? Even little mini successes are, are a treasure. Yeah, but what they're trying Getting to into do, lock -in. they don't realize what they're trying to do is bypass all the pain and rejection, which is it's all in your head anyway. It's not actually there. You're yeah, making it, all the pain up yourself. The, the dragon is trying in to go head. around it. You have to go straight through it. Yeah. Well, and that's, come out. Boom, how, do you, how do you slay a dragon? You brought the word dragon up. Yeah. How do you slay a dragon? If this is the dragon, how do you slay it? You face it head on and you strike its heart. So if you're afraid of cold approach, that very fear, do you fear it? Think about it now, this very second. If there's a three set, two girls, very beautiful, a nine and uh, another nine. And uh, if you're so inclined to rating women from one to 10, which I'd never do. And, uh, and there's a guy. And the guy, you don't know if he's a boyfriend or brother. Would you work that set? Why not? I would. Mm -hmm. I I'd would work so. that set. You'd work it? Some of the best sets have men in them. Have men in them, right? If you fear that, then that's what this boot camp is for. It's for you, specifically. If you fear approaching groups, this is the boot camp for you. Also, if you love approaching beautiful women, because we're going to these high-valued venues that have particularly beautiful women in them. Let's say there's a two set, a guy and a girl. Some guys won't go into that set because there's a guy, right? Mm -hmm. Others will go into that set, but then we'll try to get the guy to go away somehow. We'll try to isolate the girl, mm -hmm. and you can't do that. Yeah. So what's the solution? The solution is to merge sets, is to work that set for a bit, and then say, hey, let me introduce you to some good friends of mine. Backwards merge them to a previously open set. That's why that first set on the left is so important when you begin the night, because that be can very well become your base, your base of operations. So then you work that, that two set, and you bring them back into this larger group yeah. so you can now isolate your target because the obstacle is occupied, right? So that's the beauty of, of doing mergings. And I throw a couple girls onto a guy to occupy him in order to get the girl that he's with. <laughs> That's game. Yeah, totally. And it's really funny because when you merge sets, hmm? new people, they are meeting each other, so they are occupied. It, so you can talk with your girl without we, being busy. That's exactly it. We become social butterflies. Yeah. And you're introducing them to other people in set. It gives you something to do, keeps you occupied, keeps their brain stimulated. Yeah. Right? Well, that's the thing. If and, it's just two of you. And you're a social butterfly. Right. Because then it's isolation yeah. all one in one. It's as if early on in the night you met and you got to hang out all it's night like long with the same people. I need to hide this girl yeah. all for myself yeah. in the corner of the room. And exactly. another fact is, is when the girls are thinking, how I meet this girl or how I meet yeah. this guy? Because of you. And you are the most valued guy who introduced the other people. Yeah. So I think the most valued guy is the guy who introduced the people. The connector. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I, f I feel strongly about that. Yeah. Uh, that's what I do. 
I introduce people to yeah. other people. Uh, you become the uh, host of the party in that way. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's a good you know? hack. And sometimes I don't know their names, so I'll say, this is Tweedledum, this is Tweedledee, <laughs> right? Just, just uh, busting on people. Yeah, that's cool. And within that, you get what is called maneuverability. We have a boot camp coming up, by the way, in a yeah. few weeks here, August 4th, 5th, and 6th. And we even have an early bird, because it's still early, an early bird pricing, which saves 300 bucks on the 1297 pound uh, golden ticket pricing. So you may want to get in on that. It's from the 4th to the 6th, Barcelona. Three days of seminar, two days of infield nighttime boot camp, where we uh, take you to some posh places, and we, uh, we pick up girls together. Yeah. No cameras. No cameras. <laughs> it's just like a TV show, but with no cameras. So you can, uh, so it could be X-rated for yeah. all I care. You know, whatever happens in a club stays in a club. That's what I always say. People get some good <laughs> results in field when yep. they know what they're doing. Exactly. Yeah. I was just gonna say thanks for letting us come on your channel. Thank it's you always a pleasure, here. never a chore. It's been That's emotional. It. Yeah, so cool. Don't change. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Bueno chicos, pues aquí habéis tenido esta conversación que he tenido con Mystery, que he tenido con Baxter. Aquí han podido compartir todo lo que hay dentro de su cabeza para vosotros, porque al final todos y cada uno de nosotros vivimos un montón de experiencias. Pero al final las experiencias nos dan conocimiento y ese es el conocimiento que ellos han compartido. Conocimiento que han tenido gracias a sus experiencias en la vida real. Un placer haberos tenido por aquí, como sabéis tienen una conferencia dentro de muy poco del 4 al 6 de agosto aquí en Barcelona, van a hacer un seminario de tres días donde vais a poder salir por la noche, donde vais a poder practicar todo lo que ellos enseñan y realmente va a suponer un antes y un después en vuestra vida. Así que para mí ha sido un placer haberos podido compartir la experiencia de traeros aquí al canal a Mystery y a Baxter y esperamos tenerlos por aquí más próximamente. Un abrazo muy fuerte y hasta pronto chicos. YouTube, 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 YouTube,